guys, welcome to the Pot on the Show. It's your girl, Shay, aka Shay. And I am so excited for today's show. My very own little sister, Latoria Alexis, is joining us today. She is an inspiring BBW model. And I love for you guys to hear her story. We're going to ask her a couple questions. But first, let's get into this weekly tea. Let's get to this chair, y'all. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. And before we get that, very wonderful little sister of mine out here. I want to give you guys some weekly tea. All right, let's talk about some things for a second. Um, I think Kanye West, let's just put it out there that we're talking about him. I think there should be a prerequisite of applying for presidency. Like, um, and this is not, I feel like mental illness is very serious. So this is not going to be like a comedy session or a roast of Kanye West. But what I am saying is that it should be some very high qualifications of even applying for the presidency. First off, we have a president who is running the country who does not know what he's doing. And then it's like if we elect Kanye West or he's even a part of the polls, it's just going to be, it's going to just get worse from here. And we're praying for our brother Kanye West. He has a lot of mental disturbances going on in his mind. And um, it's just very sad that they're allowing someone who has a history of, I believe, bipolar um, to even apply for the presidency. He gave a speech that you guys have been <laughs> roasting him on Black Twitter about his speech, crying and stuff and whatnot and how his hair looked and what he wore and whatnot. But it's like, Kanye, like, let's just stick to the music. and. Maybe you need to do some more gospel, more gospel albums and get with a pastor mentor because the presidency, just no. Your job is to entertain, not to do politics. And they say that it is the Kardashian curse. And I hate to say that, but that's what's been going on, especially on like TMZ and other shows like that, which is kind of funny. But at the same time, it's like, it's really sad. So we're praying for our boy Kanye. We hope that you get it together. And we are hoping, I, honestly, that they knocked that uh, application. You know when you apply for a job and then they just call you and say, like, you, you didn't qualify? Like, we, he didn't qualify. You didn't qualify, Kanye. So let's go back on tour. Let's write some music. And let's leave the politics to the politicians. Anyway, let's get into our show. Y'all ready for this? I have a special guest, my very own little sister, BBW model, Latoria Alexis. Hey, sissy! Everybody, this is my sister. I'm going to call her sissy every now and then, but her name was Latoria Alexis. She is an aspiring BBW. That's a big, beautiful woman model. And we're going to talk to her about being a BBW, right? Yeah. You here to join me on my show today? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I get to. <laughs> okay, so first qu question. What was it like growing up plus size? Um, I can't say that I relate to other plus size women when it comes to like, they were bullied and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because we have such a strong family. Mm -hmm. So mommy really instilled in us to be strong, independent women. So it was just like, Growing up plus size for me it was amazing. I was the face of plus size people around me and everyone always looked to me to be an example and be like, oh, Tori's beautiful and Tori's this and Tori's that. And it was just like, I didn't have majority of people in my industry that same struggle. I always knew that I was beautiful. I always knew that I would be an example. I always knew I would, right you know, was someone that can pursue anything that I wanted to do, no matter what size I am. And just a little background of how she was when she was a little girl, because she was very outspoken and can hold her own. own. So it didn't seem, you didn't seem different. Like mm -hmm. we didn't treat you different because, and then one, you're not different. It ain't like you're alien or anything. You're right. just a bigger woman, you Thank know? You. But <laughs> we right. But I'm saying, I'm saying that to say that we treated you as such like mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't foster or make you feel um bad or we also and we also didn't make you feel like put emphasis on your weight to make you feel different mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying and then too like i said you can hold your own mm -hmm. so it was like girl tori is fabulous don't mess with her because she would check y'all right <laughs> girl mm -mm. i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> like, don't do that okay so um question two 
Would you change anything about yourself, about your body? I think the only thing that frustrates me when it comes to my modeling, I really wish I had a longer neck. <laughs> <laughs> to be 100% honest. Don't it, is my, it, is, it is my body, but I really have to remember to long name my <laughs> long name. elongate your neck thank you when you take pictures yeah so it's just like be, but when i do it you're just like you look weird yeah <laughs> so i'm just, i have to keep practicing but i i wasn't born with a long neck other than that everything else i'm and i have really really long or ginormous arms that just that runs in our family but i it went to embrace it and, and embrace it, it. But yeah, so I don't think I ever would embrace the big arms off of me. <laughs> I just I want those Angela Bassett arms, you know? They just you know the cut, you know, not too masculine, it's still a little feminine, still a little soft. I can't you know what you mean? Mean? <laughs> Okay, well this is not about me, this is about you. Okay, what would you say to someone who hates on a BBW? Meaning like, okay, let me give you an example. A lot of people think that BBWs encourage being unhealthy. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to that person who says, like, you guys need to work on being healthy? Why are you so proud of being big girls? Um, I would say to that person that they really need to educate themselves because just because someone is a BBW or fat or anything like that does not mean that they're unhealthy. Um, fact, my doctors have always told me that I am 100% healthy. 100% no high blood pressure cholesterol nothing except for my weight and that's only because it's a concern because it puts me at a higher risk but I'm other than that I'm 100% healthy and on the flip side yes this is over here struggling with pre-diabetes and right. pre-hypertension <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm, it's, yeah. just, it's really just about educating yourself like for instance when people used to come at me like okay you obese whatever i'm like no i'm not i am i have to, <laughs> you have to educate yourself. i have to educate myself i'm like okay what does obese mean like you know <laughs> it, it just means that you're overweight but okay but girl that i'm a we all overweight according right. to that little chart first of all <laughs> you some black women with some curves so even if we are in nice shape, you're still going to be somewhat, if you're five pounds overweight, you're considered obese. Right. So maybe we we're morbidly obese, but God's going to help us with that. Right. Amen. You know what I mean? But that's what I have to do. I have to, exactly how you put it, like, oh, even so I'm five pounds over, you know, overweight is obese. So it's just educating yourself in that manner. I've had even one of my friends in the past, which we were fighting. But we became friends because she's like, whoop, whoop, you fat, whatever. I'm like, okay, you just spitting facts at me. I'm fat, like, whatever. I know, like, like, I didn't know I was fat. Right. <laughs> just today. I know I was <laughs> fat years ago before right. you came in my life. And I was like, but you can't say I'm not pretty. She's like, well, you are pretty. I'm like, I thought you were pretty too. And so, <laughs> see, see, that's why you the one. Because I'm like, girl, get out of my face. We ain't going to be no friend after that. Somebody calling me fat. I know I'm fat. Why are you on my fat? Are you fat? Like, don't be on my fat. Me and my fat ain't bothering you. Okay, so um, next question. How do you think that you will be able to change the industry? Like, what kind of footprint or kind of, you know, mark you want to leave in the BBW industry? Okay, so I'm actually currently working on what sets me apart from other plus size women in the industry. And it's not even that I just want to stand out so bad because we a lot of us have the same story or a different story really it's just obviously one of the same but um one thing that i'm really really getting into is pole fitness and that's mainly because my best friend is into pole dancing and it is some way to work out plus it's an industry that not a lot of people think that plus size women can be in because it's more sensual mm -hmm. and I'm sexy, so I don't know. <laughs> like it's just, it just is. There's so many things that I just want to keep embodying and letting people know that just because you are the size that you are does not mean that you should be scared to try different things. You'll be so surprised on what you love or what you find your passion in. And you know the funny part is, I think that's where me and you are set apart, and I commend you for that because. I mean, we can always tell that I'm the smaller sister, right, in size, mm -hmm. but you're more brave in trying new things. So I'd be like, girl, mm -mm, I'm too big for that. I need to lose some weight. Or, and you'd be right on with your big self, like, girl, let me try. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, oh my God, Tori, like, you don't want to be, 
But that's just who you are. Mm -hmm. That's how God made you. You've always been the wildflower between mm -hmm. the two of us. And I've been more of a safe child, you know, and it is what it is. But I do applaud you for that because a lot of people are ashamed. And I feel like since you're still living, you have breath in your, your nostrils. It's like, just live, have a good time. And whatever you find interest in, do that. As long as you ain't hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? Do you. Right, you know what exactly. I'm saying? So that's good. Okay, when did you aspire to be... To start getting into modeling and being a BBW model. Um, you ready? Yeah. Uh, it actually was inspired by you. When I'm we were scared. Like, <laughs> like, like you gonna say something crazy? No, it was actually inspired by you. When we were younger, we went to a modeling call. And it was like an open casting. And do you remember them giving like index cards? Or not, uh, those playing cards for the people that were going to the next level and seeing you conquer something that you were nervous. And I remember the car ride over there, you were just like, like trying to calm your nerves and you doing something that you wanted to do and made me want to try it. It made me want to do it and I loved it. And of course, you guys always tell me, oh, you're so photogenic and you know, all oh. these things and right. <clears throat> just another way to inspire women and um, the other plus size, you know, girls growing up behind me so it was just you're a huge part of that <laughs> gonna cry. so that means you're telling me that when you become like oh super super famous you're gonna <laughs> say that your sister was the one who inspired you yeah my big sister did something like you know that <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's funny because i don't even remember well i do remember trying to get into mama because at that time i was like super skinny and very insecure but people just told me about being modeling and to be a model and back then that's when being skinny was like the thing for mm -hmm. modeling now it has shifted so much where they're taking like whether you're skin and bones or you got a bunch of meat on your on your bones you know like it's mm -hmm. all different sizes and that's one thing i can't appreciate with the shift in the industry because it's not cookie cutter it's like everybody is not built this way right and even the regular folks are not built this way. Only these models who are doing this is built this way. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of glad they shift that industry to give everybody opportunity. Because like you said, you're very photogenic. I was not. They wanted me because of my size. But I was hard, a hard person to take photos with. They had to do a lot of reshoots and this and that. I, I'm just not photogenic, y'all. I'm just not. Like You can catch me on a good day with a good smile. But that's all her right there. That's why she's doing what she's doing. And I'm doing what I'm doing. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, how do you, uh, okay, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Um, this one was a little difficult because I'm still trying to figure out where I want to be in the industry because there's so many different types of modeling, even mm -hmm. with the plus size industry. There's, you know, runway, there's a uh, catalog. There's just so many that I'm still trying to find my niche on where I want to fit in the industry. I just know I want to model. So the things that I do know that I want to accomplish one I want to actually start like you know some sort of mentoring modeling camp and I don't want to go into too many details you know yeah. but um, <laughs> that. that is one thing that I do want to uh, have accomplished and you know having like my six year anniversary at that point um, I want to be on Black Girls Rock. I actually want to be a speaker there. Me too. Yeah, see, let's do it together. See? Yes. There you go. You know what? I'm saying this right now today on this show that they're going to ask us both to host with one another. Yes. Black Girls Rock. See? Bam. There you let's go. Let's put it out there. 2020. Right there. We put it out there in 2020. Now, 2020 is a mess. <laughs> but we put it out there. But in 2030. <laughs> okay. And we still Watch here. Us. <laughs> right. We might, be the, we might take over Black Girls no, Rock. No, seriously. Who knows? Right. So... Yeah. That is something that those are the two main things that I want to accomplish more than anything. Everything else has kind of fade and come, but those are the two things that have stuck that I want to accomplish within this next 10 years. Yes, I, and I see that. I always have visions of me um, just doing things like hosting award shows mm -hmm. and whatnot, and that's like one of my dreams as well. So we're going to get that, sis. Right. And we're going to remember this moment, too. And we're going to have our own fan, uh, camera. So. They, you know what they're going to do? They're going to have like this little snippet of us doing this. Like oh, we had Lord. said this and said that, and then they're like, introducing. <laughs> right. And then you're gonna come out like looking all fabulous and stuff. Woo. I'm gonna be there and be like, hey, you know. Okay. Reason. <laughs> okay, so um, my other question is 
how do you expect or do you want to change because i know we are change makers and we like to change things we we're we don't want to be the um typical person who just comes in the industry so what are your plans or do you plan or do you see yourself changing the bbw industry to make like bring something new that's never been thought of maybe you want to hold those ideas to yourself and not tell them but mm -hmm. do you plan on changing the industry once you really get your footing in there um currently there isn't anything that i want to change per se because i feel like everything is going into the direction it's supposed to okay. um because there's so many different levels of bbw there's even people in the industry that do not like that um that saying or slogan bbw they're like oh i'm plus size so call me bbw you know and it's just it's just like oh i'm black don't call me african-american it's just like they're, they're yeah. just, you know yeah. saying yeah. so it's just like there isn't anything in particular and there are a couple things on how i want the industry to introduce how to you know for you to rise into it mm -hmm. so if anything i do want it to be a little clearer on how people enter the industry of anything rather than you know you kind of just have to really really do so many scratching and probing and some people don't like to always help other people mm -hmm. but that is not the case for me mm -hmm. i'm very helpful i will tell you anything that i have learned so far and i am learning that there are certain people in the industry like erica lauren for example she is one of my biggest mentors right now she has i think like forty six thousand followers or something like that on her instagram and we talk so mm -hmm. much and she gives me so much advice so shout out to her she is amazing okay. amazing girl shout out erica yeah she's amazing okay well i'm doing something i'm gonna add something to the show that i didn't tell you because i want it to be very authentic uh -huh. so remember how we were talking about how you're very photogenic Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a word out there and you have to just sell it on your face. Okay. So whether, like an, like um, an expression or like a, a, a mood. Okay. Okay. So give me um, like I am the head B, the head of this BBW okay. industry. Give me that. And action. I just lost my puppy and he just ran up the street. Oh! Y'all! Oscar goes too! <laughs> she is acting over here. Okay, okay, that's two out of two. Okay, let me see. Um, I just got engaged by my dream man. by my dream man. take a little break because we was laughing so much but i have one more question for you sis um so what can you what kind of advice you can give some um young lady like yourself who is struggling with her weight and have um insecurities about that especially when it comes to dating being a bbw okay so i'm a huge body positive person and when people say body positive I choose to believe and I choose to love myself no matter what size I am, whether it's small, skinny, saw small, skinny, <laughs> small, <laughs> fat, short, tall, it's whatever your body is, you are never going to be anything or anyone but yourself. So if you don't like something, then obviously change it. Mm -hmm. There's no one else in control of your body. and no one else can choose or no one else can make you decide what 
you are or how you're gonna look at yourself right so I choose to look at myself as someone beautiful and outstanding no matter if it's on makeup no makeup whatever so someone that is insecure I would honestly advise you to look within yourself sweetheart like wake up in the mirror and wake up in the mirror wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and choose one thing at a time that you love and admire about yourself right and if you have to do that same thing I love my smile and you go about your day I love my smile go about your day and then you will slowly start to realize there's other things in your body that are absolutely beautiful and then eventually you're gonna start naming everything and if there's something that you want to change then change it and then you start to believe in those things too exactly but let's get to the second part of the question because a lot of people feel that and let me just say this y'all and I'm a little jealous low-key but not jealous since where I'm gonna hurt you like I'm not that jealous but I'm saying this to say this when it comes to the dating Mm -hmm. part of life you've never had an issue with getting let, let me tell y'all something this girl gets a man every five minutes like whoa I'm not saying that <laughs> no I'm not saying that I'm saying like if it doesn't work out best and believe a month or so later it's another one's on the bench who's gonna come and try to be with her me on the other hand I, it's dry season like <laughs> Lord, where are you, Jesus? Where are you? You know? Mm -hmm. So it's like you never had an issue with men. And that's one thing I love about you because people th assume because you're a big woman that, oh, no man's going to like you. It's some chubby chasers out there. Mm -hmm. They love big women. They love plus size. So what advice can you give a young girl who feels like, it ain't no man out there for me. They don't like me because I'm a big woman or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So those type of women that you um, are speaking of to me are those who haven't found love within themselves and you're not going to find that man who's going to fill that void first off second one thing that i have learned with watching the talk shows that we've watched uh, when we were growing up is that in every category that they've always brought men onto the show and they're like oh what do you love about a woman and do you matter about the size believe the men when they say they do not care what size you are of course there's some men just like there's some women that like have a preference yeah that have a preference but in all of those men that have ever said anything they love a woman with confidence yeah I was someone that say walks free like, <laughs> they hit up high i cannot they they someone high. that is literally gonna walk as if they know where they're going in right. life so even if you don't have a straight path of like this is where i want to be just know your worth know that no one has any control over your body your mind anything you this is you all of you so <laughs> so that's something that i've always learned is that you know what if i do even want a man to love me the way that i want to be loved i have to show him that i'm worth loving and i have to know that within myself in order for me to do that so those men that keep coming or whatever and obviously it's not been the right one but <laughs> yeah, <it's all> right. <laughs> gonna get there. But the men that are and the women that are struggling with that, I really just want to commend you for one, even one of today, because dating nowadays is just hard. It's just Netflix and chill. It's, it's, it's too much. It's a lot. That's a whole different show. It is. <laughs> but when it comes to, especially my plus size women out there, sweetheart, if he's talking to you, he love it. So stop. <laughs> Being like, oh, no, he, he saw you. He saw you when you first approached him or he approached you. He loves it. So stop second-guessing yourself. You're beautiful. And wrapping it up, I mean, that was amazing. Did you want to give any shout-outs to any of your inspiring models that you look up to um, on the show before we wrap this up? Um, my two main go-to girls, female, that I stay stalking their page because they are just beautiful and they're some of my biggest mentors will of course be Erica Lauren and Ashana Bree. They are both beautiful souls through their pages and off. So those two a huge shout out and of course a huge shout out to my man Showtime 49. Not my actual man. He just another I would say you got a man. I mean, <laughs> we, are, we are looking like wait a minute, wait a minute what's going on? Mr. Showtime, he is also a huge mentor of mine and he's always been there for me as well. So Okay. Well, that is it. That is a wrap, you guys. You guys got the full effect in the mindset of a BBW. And we love you, and we hope to see you next week. Bye.
You ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. And sing. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the show. Before we. Take two. You ready? I got my leg out. Yes. You can't really see all you see is the top of your thighs, like from the knee up, really. From the knee up? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh! I'm just kidding. This is a G in my <laughs> show. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm hmm. Okay, so when did you decide to start inspiring to be a BBW? Wait, model? pause real quick. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. I wanna You want me to do that question over? over? Yeah, when you start. Tor, move that blanket at the end, yeah. Okay. There you go. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> so one more. This one gotta be good. Okay, let me see. Really ice cream? Really? <laughs> I, I'm pissed off because the ice cream truck is outside. How about that? Let's do that one. <laughs> Annoyed. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I can't. I can't. I can't. Let's pause for a minute. <laughs> And see how long this ice cream truck is gonna be. Girl. Here. 